Hello, Jess Too Good here, and today we're taking a look at the Booster Bricks Club once again. This is their October box, and again, this was $36 for one month. It's like 35.5 around that price. So let's see if it's worth it. Let's see if they've improved from the last month, because I was kind of disappointed with how it came out. It was just kind of seemed like a bad deal for what you're paying, because there was a lot of just basic bricks, some of them even dirty. It is definitely aimed towards kids, though, so yeah. Uh, I was facing the wrong side this whole time. But, let's see. Okay. So, here's everything that comes in. And trust me, I didn't plan on getting this another month. I just forgot to cancel, so they charged me again for that same price. This is the Minifig Challenge, which seems to have the Series 4 Skater uh, outfit right there. Uh, the Series 5 Mobster face right there. The Series 4... 14 spider lady uh, body right there if i'm not mistaken we'll build those figures in a bit the blindfold challenge the micro build challenge the premiere challenge this which is uh oh the bookmark of the week or of the month and it also comes with the the piece of the month why did i blink out there that was pretty bad and we could see that these are also spooky themed, which it's good because this was October. I did get this like a week ago, so that would have been more fitting. But let's see the itinerary and see what every challenge is based on. All right, so it's the Monster of Stein Circle. So that's right here, what is this, Stein Circle. And here is something I really like is that, uh, and I complimented this last time, they have these little stories that are very cute Again, these are more aimed towards kids, but even then, I don't know if it's worth the money. But they have these little stories that just kind of illustrate uh, different situations and stuff that you could build along with, which is so cute. Look, using the pieces from the microbuild challenge, build the monster sign circle, place the monster model in Hayden's hand in the microbuild. So that is really cute. And it's basically like a little choose your own adventure right here. And they took time. And this really takes a lot of time and effort. And that's the thing with this box. They put a lot of time and effort into these. And they're really aimed towards kids, but they also have kids doing some very creative builds and everything, which is neat. And we have the October and November challenges, so here's really the itinerary of what's going on. The mini figure you build is Taylor, the micro build's the monster, the blindfold is a mystery, the premiere is a mystery, and the spotlight is a mystery. And then you could post them on their Facebook group, which is like exclusive to box holders and stuff like that. And so, yeah, October to November challenges. And then yours might be featured at the end of the book. Again, lots of kids and stuff, because this is aimed towards kids, and I, I do recognize that. Looks like there's a Pikachu micro build there, and Pennywise the Clown, that's kind of cute. Spotlight member of the month. Very cute for little kids, but let's see what else they got. Staff picks. Spooky Shadows, which is the photograph challenge. Lots of brick heads and stuff there. And this is cool that they recycle bricks, so that's why some of them might be dirty. But again, if some of them are dirty, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that was just like a one-time thing. I haven't actually opened up everything. So let's open up the pieces this time around. Oh, look, this is kind of cool because it's like a decoder or something like that. So it's a puzzle. And you have a sticker. All right, so the first one we'll take a look at is the Taylor minifigure. All right, so got all these random pieces here. So it's just a bunch of random pieces. And <laughs> wait, is this really supposed to be the head for Taylor? Like, is this just randomly sorted? Uh, uh, there's like black hair, but then there's this blonde ponytail. The Starlet, they were really just bit random pieces. I mean, there's some good pieces. Like, these are all hard to find prints, kind of hard to find a hair piece. I mean, I'm sure they're not the most expensive on Bricklink. And also this uh, little, I think this is from the Statue of Liberty from Series 6, which is good to get. But could they have more consistency in the pieces? Because these are just, like, three random prints altogether. Like, those are three completely different prints. I know Lego's about creativity, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So you're supposed to micro-build the monster. 
and see if there's any really cool pieces in here. Again, that's one thing about this box. You're paying like $36 and these are just random pieces. Like, sure, some of these prints are cool. Well, this one isn't even a print. This is just a sticker. Good condition though, but yeah. This is cool because this is from series six, right? Or was it, no, series 13 because I was with the cowboy guy. I don't remember, the sheriff, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe this is a print now, just a two by two jumper. Mm, again, there's more pieces, but this is just, just kind of random pieces. You can build a monster out of it and be creative, but is it worth that price is my question. The blindfold build challenge is just a mystery, so. That's the amount of pieces you get. This is like, maybe even less than 50. I was gonna say 50-ish. Yeah, I guess probably around 50. Some stickered pieces, like this license plate right here. Somebody could say which set that, oh, 60085. I guess that was easy. Uh, also, this one right here. Not sure where this one's from. Looks like a pillow or something. But, like, come on, ew. This is gross, like, really? Like, I, I like recycled pieces. That's a cool way so that these don't get, like, don't a landfill or anything, but can you clean them a little bit better? Because this is, like, the second time we've gotten a really gross piece. Like, the last box, we had a few gross ones. This one's kind of gross, too. I don't know if you guys could see it, but, like, let's see. Much less gross than this one, though. This is just disgusting, honestly. Like, what is that sticky stuff? Again. <sighs> it's just kind of sad because I like, ew, this one's gross too, look at this. This is, I mean, not only is this gross, this is old as heck, look at that. That has the old Lego logo on it. Wow. This is a, like a 70s, 60s maybe. This might be the oldest piece I own. I wonder like where this went through, like who's owned it. It probably has a lot of history to it, which is cool, but all they had to do was clean it just a little bit better. Like you really couldn't get that gunk off. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, just a little bit more gunk on here. I mean, I, I, I get that they're recycled, they're not supposed to be perfect, but some of these are just, like, downright just disgusting. Like, that, that's... Never was I tempted to get rid of a Lego brick, but, uh, I'm not gonna get rid of this. <laughs> Why would I get rid of a Lego brick? I'm gonna clean it, but... Still, yeah, just disappointing, because, again, recycling bricks is fine. Just clean them a little bit better. And finally, the Premier Challenge, which is the biggest box of bricks in here. Let's see, it's the, by the way, the, the challenge for it is a mystery, it probably coincides with the story, I'm not going to read the story though, it's not really for me. Okay, that's, that's a fair amount, that's not too bad, um, it's like a good 200 pieces maybe? Let's see if there's any really cool rare pieces, this one has a print there, but again, very scuffed up, not as dirty as scuffed up, which is fine, I guess, oh, okay, well it is kind of dirty at the top, what else we got? Um, this is not too bad in the color. I'm looking for any prints. Oh, this is a cool print. This is from some of the old 1999 Star Wars sets, if I'm not mistaken. This is a neat print from like the 90s too, it looks like. This is from 2008 Indiana Jones. I Oh, this is from like the 2015 race car for City. This one had a fair amount of pieces, um, but the bulk of it is just very common pieces, which, you know, makes sense. I mean, I can't just put it filled with rare pieces, but I would expect just a little bit more pieces if they're going to fill it up with common pieces, which was my argument last time. Like it looked like a lot, but. And this one, I'm, I'm much happier with this batch because it looks just so much more cleaner than that last one. That last one was kind of gross, honestly. Um, this one's cool, though. two by two and that clear. It's useful. Cool. Yeah. So that's it for all the bricks kind of separated. So let's move on to the final verdict. Actually, before we get to the final verdict, this is kind of gross. I mean, these are all just from the pieces alone because I usually clean my displays before I start reviewing and such. So I did here and you could see just all those little grimy pieces, which I like sweep up with this. But just a, a simple shift, shifting, right? Sifting, sorry, sifting of um, pieces to get rid of those. Very gross in my opinion. So overall, man, I, has this box improved? I don't think so. It's just, it feels like they threw in so many random bricks that it doesn't feel like it's worth the value. There is a lot of effort put into the books and stuff, which does bump up the value a little bit more, but even then, 
it's like a $20 box with the prints and everything should be like $27. I'm paying $36 for this, which is kind of ridiculous. In general, I think they need to do one more thing, which is quality control on the bricks. Just clean them a little bit more, just sift through them a little bit more, because it's getting kind of gross. Like, this was even worse than the last box in terms of cleansiness. Again, there's so much potential here, and I like the idea for kids. I think this is great for kids, where they could build these different challenges, build along with these stories, encourage them to read, and they could post it. It could kind of uh, start them out on social media and stuff like that. But the execution just isn't there yet, and I really don't recommend it too much. I think my opinion has actually gone worse with this box, which it seemed like there was some more rare pieces in this box, but the execution just wasn't as good as the last one. So that's where I'm at with this box. Again, they put effort into this. I just, they need to fix that execution, put more pieces, clean the pieces more. The two things they could do that would make this more worth it in my opinion. Because if you're going to do random pieces, you could put a lot more pieces of what you put in here, even with the prints and everything. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.